Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So I saw this story. I saw this hit the media not too long ago. And I just felt the need to speak on it because I've said this before. I want this platform to be a safe space for people to be able to talk about the things that happened to them, to be able to talk about men who have been assaulted in the industry. I believe it happens much more than what people are willing to acknowledge. And those men, like I said, deserve to have their story be heard just like everybody else's. Now, this particular situation did remind me of the Christian Key situation. Now, some people feel a certain way about that, but I stand 10 toes down at what I said and how I feel about it. And despite what a lot of people have had to say, I'm probably never going to change my mind on that. Anyways, this man is an actor and a formal model by the name of Alan Rickson. He opened up about the assault that he went through himself while he was working in the industry, the modeling industry, and he even said he felt like the industry in general is just a cesspool a place where people get taken advantage of, people who have a lot of power, money, and influence. They just pick people. It's a place for them to pick people to do what they want to against those people's will. He said there were so many times where he personally was in a situation where he was essentially passed off to be taken advantage of by a photographer, by somebody, and he had to basically endure it for his paycheck. When you're a model, you can't say no in certain situations, unfortunately, because that is your job, that is your money. You will be on the streets. Sometimes these people get put in situations by their manager, by bosses, by, like I said, people who are high up there. that They had no control being put in and they get taken advantage of. It's out of their control. And he was saying, how do you go in these spaces? You're just trying to do what you love to do. Do what you feel like you were put here to do. And you don't know how to do that and go about basically not being able to stop somebody from doing a heinous crime against you and trying to conduct yourself in a professional manner so that you can still get paid and not either get blackballed or labeled problematic while also, like I said, trying to defend yourself. That's a horrible position for a person to be in. He also said, and I really love that he said this so much, he even said himself he completely empathizes with the women who go through these kind of things. And he even said for himself, because I don't know if y'all seen this man, but this guy is huge. He's tall, he's strong, he's buff, the whole nine yards. He even said himself, going through those situations multiple times, being taken advantage of and assaulted, he said he still feels like he himself could possibly muscle his way out of a situation or fight with somebody if it wasn't completely one of those situations where if he swung on somebody, like I said, that would be it for him. But he felt bad for the women because he was like, okay, if I'm a dude and I can swing my way out of it, if I can muscle my way out of it, Essentially, he was saying that that is an option afforded to him because he is a man. He is huge, like I said. And then he said, and I quote, most women don't have that option. Imagine how terrifying it must be. And I thought that that was so absolutely powerful and empathetic of him to acknowledge. Like in his pain and his trauma, he could have said, forget all y'all. I didn't been through, you know, stuff that some of y'all ain't been through. But even in his pain and trauma, he acknowledged something that a lot of people in the midst of all these P devil comb lawsuits have not even acknowledged to this day since this stuff has been going on that some of these women did not have a choice a lot of these men did not have a choice like i said i wanted to emphasize that and point it out because i thought that was so powerful to say so compassionate and once again pointing it out to let these people know who keep saying that these women basically had control of the situation or even the other men once again that some people once again have no control of the situation they have no options Anyways, so this man was modeling for different clothing brands and basically his modeling agency, if I'm not mistaken, sent him to, and I quote, a very famous photographer. He could not say the name. We all know how this goes because that's how this kind of stuff goes. They can't always drop the name because the person is that powerful. And I would never once again say something crazy like, oh, well, you should drop the name if you're really serious about it because that's crazy, first of all. And second of all, people really be thinking this stuff is a game out here. Once again, like the Tiffany Red video that I made, these people's lives and safety are at risk. If they don't feel comfortable putting a name out there because they don't want their family to be threatened, their spouses to be threatened, their children to be threatened, their lives to be turned upside down also some people can get off or some juicy tea if you will some wine whatever you want to call it juice whatever it is they should not have to nor should they be pressured to put a name out there and at the end of the day like i said some of these people are so powerful them dropping a name is only going to get them screwed over in the end because the way that the industry is set up and how these people at the top are protected they'll drop a whole name and then go through all this stuff 
the person who did this to them, whose name that they dropped, will get a slap on the wrist and still be walking around free to basically do whatever they want to to whoever they want to. And essentially, the victims have put themselves and their families at risk for really no reason. All they would have done at that time is put another target on their back. All because, like I said, some raggedy people on the internet want them to drop a name all in the name of gossip. They did this with the Christian Key situation. I said it was stupid, heinous, disrespectful, and inconsiderate then. And it's the same for any other situation just like it. Once again, these people really be out here thinking that these people who are going through this stuff, they really be thinking it's a game. Anyways, allegedly this man's people who he trusted to not be setting him up and sending him the people to get taken advantage of, sent him to do this particular photo shoot they wanted to do a rather explicit photo shoot allegedly and he was just trying to do his job but when they sent him over there they knew what kind of person this alleged photographer who was very famous was going to do was capable of would want to do to him and they sent him down there anyways and the man got taken advantage of he said he was so angry that he went back down there and basically went off on them and said y'all knew what was going to happen y'all sent me down there to get taken advantage of on purpose screw y'all i'm done with this and he walked away from modeling and has walked away from it for a good while now now he said he made the transition into acting he was glad that he could do that to you know basically compensate for not being able to model anymore i told y'all before these people in the industry they're connected it's a network they're working together to screw people over people don't want to believe that but i don't understand how many people have to come out and file lawsuits against these people for some people to open their eyes allegedly he had been through these heinous crimes being committed against him so many times that he attempted self-deletion yes you're hearing me correctly because he felt like he couldn't take it anymore and it's really sad once again when anybody is being put through a situation where they are so burdened they are so hurt they are so traumatized so deeply they feel like the only way out of it is to take their own life because they cannot take the pain anymore once again that's a horrible position for a person to be in allegedly he tried to hang himself but he said in that moment he saw visions of his children of his sons telling him not to do it and i believe that, that was god basically trying to get him to not go through with it and i believe that that vision was his sons because that is exactly what was going to stop him from going through with it basically knowing that there were people in his life like his children and his wife that needed him there that wanted him to stay alive that loved him that valued his life and his presence now he also said that he went and got diagnosed and that's when he was diagnosed as bipolar and he said that it made him feel a little bit better to know okay this is what i'm dealing with and i do believe that people should go to a doctor i've been saying this like you need jesus you need god and you need therapy go to a therapist make sure that you know what you're dealing with and i always also say that because you know what to pray for you know i've heard people say know what you're dealing with so you'll know what to go into warfare concerning if you don't know what you're dealing with how are you supposed to fix it it's just like if you're having health issues how are you supposed to know what to do how to handle it how to even begin to fix it if you don't know exactly what you're going through exactly what the issue is once you identify the issue then you can figure out how to fix it what to do so once again i'm speaking to the men right now men fellas god and therapy Figure out what you're dealing with, get some therapy so you can find some tips and then work on it and pray about it. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I always believe these issues as a God part and as a us part, we have to put in the work for our healing. Although we also need to pray and ask God to heal us as well, because there are parts of healing, especially when deep trauma is involved like this, that only God can reach. I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all. Now he didn't stop there because let me tell y'all something. You can have a whole family that you know that loves you, that you love, that's waiting for you to still make the decision to live. But some people still end up succumbing to the trauma because it's just that deep. It's just that strong. They've just gone through so much of the pain. Like I said, they just they either snap in the moment or they just feel like they can't take it. So he was saying, you know, it was more than just his family. He basically came out, like it says right here, basically telling himself there's got to be a reason for me being here. If I'm going to choose to go through with this. If I'm going to choose to live. I have to live for a reason. I have to live for a purpose with intention. Listen to what he said. 
What I kept falling back on was the meaning and purpose of life as someone who believes that there is a creator and we are created beings. Our purpose in life is without qualification to make the world a better place and serve others. That is what life is all about. Once again, this man is dropping some powerful nuggets. I'm gonna need y'all to pick them up and tap into them, carry them with you wherever you go. Once again, sometimes the only thing that's tying people to this earth them not like I said deleting themselves is the fact that they wake up knowing that there is a creator who loves them despite what anybody might try to make them believe that they were created for a purpose and that that purpose will not be fulfilled unless they are here to fulfill it that they are much more valuable to everybody being here that they were made to do something they were made for a reason and that they can accomplish that as long as they are here and that purpose could be anything it could be as simple as being there for your family being there for your friends though i encourage you all to consult god about what your purpose is and don't stop asking don't stop praying about it until he gives it to you until he reveals it to you of course make sure you're doing the right thing and you're living you know the right kind of lifestyle but like i said you keep fighting and doing the right thing and what you're supposed to until you learn what your purpose is and then you do what God put you on this earth to do. And that goes for everybody. Anyways, I'm going to be real honest with y'all. I got so mad when I heard about what happened to this man. I'm going to be real honest. Anyways, though, y'all let me know what y'all think and how y'all feel about all of this down in the comments below. Respectfully, don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all all have a very blessed, beautiful, and safe day.